we've seen the change in the Durham coast uh, from what it was, there was black beaches of Durham, infamous throughout Europe as a place where we tipped two and a half million tonnes of waste a year onto the coast. I mean, all of that waste was here um, and that's changed in the past 20 years. Um, we've worked to clear the place up. It's now fabulous in terms of landscape, habitat, footpaths. What we're doing now is actually uh, drawing people back to using it, but using it in a different way because the history is one where people didn't come and enjoy it. They came either to fish or not, or to use it for industry. So now it's, it's how do we use that? The story of Crimden itself, it was the holiday resort um, for the East Durham miners. Uh, and it's got a terrific history of big, big days of uh, August Bank Holiday, the Miss Crimden competitions and the rest, whippet racing. Um, so the grandparents of this generation remember Crimden as it was. So there were big high days, so they remember that. So what we're doing is just using this uh, the history of the links to that to, to develop this place as, as somewhere where people come back to and celebrate celebrate the coast celebrate you know its achievement the change and basically come and enjoy it One, two, three. when you're smiling when you're smiling the whole world smiles with you but when you're laughing when you're laughing a rainbow shining through, but when you're crying. What Easter and Creates has done for Crimden Dean and working in partnership with the Heritage Coast to create this event is we're just trying to breathe life back into an area that has already been loved and known by so many families and the older generation here, but there just seems to have been a bit of a gap and um, we've just used a bit of imagination, which everybody's got, because we've got lots of people here who've used their own imagination, just to create something a bit different and a bit special, which is, which is really unique to the area. I don't know anywhere else that's like this, and it's been an absolute pleasure from the moment of walking in to this place six months ago thinking, what can we do, to the minute where I'm stood here and hearing all people laughing and having a great time. Loads on for her, and she's really enjoyed herself. I mean, we've been here since what 11 o'clock this morning, and she's not, she's not even seen everything. She's still enjoying herself, and there's still loads that we haven't done. Really good, has entertained the kids loads. And like I said, we haven't gotten around everything today, so obviously, we're going to come back again tomorrow to get around the rest. Crimden Dean has been brought to life and that uh, it disappeared a little bit over the years and now it's back and they've been really enjoying it, loving going around seeing the different things that's here. Not just today, but they've been in the trees, they've been playing, they've been playing in the stream, it's been fantastic. Well, we're coming to the end of um, our first event of the Pirates of Crimden Dean, uh, the treasure of many happy returns, and we're so pleased. We've had over a thousand people, definitely, in two days, which for something that's happened the first time in this area and a first event of its kind is absolutely amazing, and we're so pleased. What's been really important to us is to create an experience for everybody, for families, that um, they can take part and make things and do things together, come up with their creative pirate names and a dance, and they can make pieces of the costume, they can see a show. We've just tried to bring in lots of different things to create a really magical experience and something that lends itself to just, just this absolutely incredible space and this place of Crimden Dean. Hey! <laughs>